name's Doug, and this is our John Deere 2520 with a Mazzotti 200 Maco. And the operator today is Patrick Compton, and we are digging out a downspout. I guess the guys found a snake over here. It looks like a holy cow. It's got to be a garter snake. No. That's not a I don't think it's guarded. Dangerous, very dangerous. Where is it? Can you see it? He's over here. Yeah, man. Alright, keep digging. You're plenty deep enough. Watch out, Ryan. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, you probably need to move the tractor. Yeah. Steve, you want to move the tractor? Really? Go move me. Go move the tractor, please. Ryan. What? Steve, I need a little one. I'm busy. Give All me right. a second. This is Steve, and he's busy. Hey, leaning on hey, a shovel. State worker. Today we got the forks on the 2520. We have a 2025R sitting here with a 49 inch bucket so we can move any dirt we need to move. Forks, we're digging out stumps with the backhoe and we figured the forks might help us if we needed them to dig out the stumps. We're currently using a 9 inch bucket. We have a 17 inch bucket also with us. But for this task, we just need to be able to put in a 4 inch corrugated line. We have with us today our YouTuber, Random Ryan, and he is off to the house, I guess, to get something. Yeah, you are. That's okay. We're digging it out anyway. It's fine. Probably need to move the pit, right? You can stay right above it if you want. It doesn't matter. You want to dig a little? Next tractor move. We're separating, looks like we're separating sod possibly from the rest of the soil. A random Ryan off to the house. There goes your ride. Yeah, Patrick's ride just left. Yeah, just follow that tile, it'll be fine. It's not like a lot of weights coming through here. You want to move up? To... So... Alright, Patrick, you're going to move it up. He's going to dig for a bit. That's fine. Steve's uh, definitely motivated here to do this job. 
electrician by trade. Shovel really don't fit his hand. Although, he's building a new school. He's working on a project where they're building a new school in a local town here. And he has been doing a lot of shovel work with the uh, bearing of conduit. Nope. Put your stabilizers down. Hey, I'm going to have him move it that way some more. Hey, okay. Good call. I'm trying to figure out how far I can go to get the most out of this day. Are you getting that? Hey. Perfect. Don't make me come off of here. Bad day for you to be in a hospital. <laughs> You're good. Dig. I really like this Mazzotti 200 backhoe. Does a nice job. Uh, actually, tractor has more power than I think we need for the backhoe, but 27 horse John Deere, the Yanmar engine on these 2520s. I see the 2025R is back. That comes with a 24 horse engine. 24 and a half maybe might be 25 rated I'm not sure nice piece of equipment right there Steve's pretty new to operating a backhoe doing a good job though So it looks like it's about two feet deep here. You don't have to be near as deep. You can come up. What? You don't have to be near as deep. Dug out a stump here a little bit ago. Got Patrick on the 2025R. Leveling it out. You know, I think it'll probably go at least to the front of the tractor. Do I move him up? I wouldn't go any deeper than the bucket is. That'd be plenty. Go ahead and pull up your stabilizer. He's gonna move you up. Several. It's ratcheting. Let's say it's only, it's only on one right now. Yeah, the brakes, it's all brand new, so there's nothing. Yeah, okay, push as hard as I can, it only latched one time. Yeah, it's. Must have fucking gotten the outer. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. I tried driving it with it on before, trust me, it don't go. <laughs> you guys are always putting a brake on it, I'm forgetting about it. And... I think that thing digs pretty nice. I mean, this is nice soil too, but I like it. Yeah. Grass up in our house will go dig in one spot and it'll be real nice grass, and then they'll dig two feet away and there'll be rocks everywhere. And like shale. Here. Yeah, I know there's shale around here too. How long 
I can record on this. I think most of them have a limit of like 10 minutes. All right, well, I have no idea. Never done this before with this. And the GoPro, it'll run until the moment goes full. If you put it in another one first edition, you can get about a four and a half hour video. I think I have 32 gig in this. Yeah, I got 32 in mine and I got 64 on there. Depends on what size card you put in Yeah, if you put it on 720p recording and uh, 256 you start, you get about a five hour video. Oh wow, really? Yeah. And nobody wants to watch this for five hours, but be nice we get some video editing software where we can take five hours of video and put it down into 15 minutes yeah. cut it right down put yourself that video I'll tell you a little tip you can do with the camera okay once you take a break I can explain it better Dragging the, dragging the bucket is accomplished by getting it in the trench, getting it set, and pulling both your levers back, and that will allow your bucket to maintain the same depth while pulling towards the tractor. Huh, that's a lot faster than that chainsaw is. Oh yeah. Not near as noisy, is it? Didn't take as much time and didn't cost me any fuel either. That's what I'm talking about right there, you know what? Of course, with those uh, sound suppressors he's wearing, he can't tell if it's on or on, off. Yeah. So He wears those things everywhere. I know he does, but that's okay. He wear them in Walmart and everything. Does he wear them to church? What? Does he wear them to church? Sometimes. That's what I'm talking about. He doesn't wear them to he doesn't, wear them, he doesn't wear them during the sermon? No. <laughs> That's a good thing. For a while, I wore headphones during the sermon because you know, my ears were plugged up and I had to have the sound amplifying it. Oh, you did? Did I mean for hunting? Then we had three wear headphones for one. I had to explain to him all my ears were plugged up for hunting and this stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay. Cool. All right, well, I hope we haven't bored you with this, but we did want to show you what the Mazzotti 200 backhoe does. I've only found one online. Uh, this one we've had for about two or three years and it's done a really nice job for us. Well, thanks.